but you know these rejections make you into the person that today you are getting rejected and tomorrow you might because of those experiences that you are facing in the rejections uh i thought that it will be my best choice to invest in uh, like taking this course i knew ki ye course me ko actually sikha raha hai jo cheeze jo cheeze maine cover up nahi ki hai it is giving me that extra push jab hum uh, zoom meeting karte hain ppa ki classes karte hain to yeah. sir usually make breakout rooms jisme hame yeah. kaha jata hai specially ki aap peer discussion karo i even like the way the videos are made like how the vivek sir and bharat sir they teach is that they tell you the logic behind each and everything Hi everyone welcome back to another episode of success stories with programming part shala my name is akansha and today we have balvinder with us so balvinder has recently got in place with polo alto as their sde and not only that she also works with programming part shala as one of our sde interns she has shared everything about her journey with renaissance as a student and then also as a professional working with programming part shala and not only that she has also shared everything about her interview experience with polo alto and how she has been able to grab the offer there so don't forget to watch till the end of this video and make sure you give it a like in case you like it and hit the bell icon in to get notified every time we put up a new new video and don't forget to subscribe before that let's get into it hi balvinder how have you been hi i'm fine uh, how are you doing good i'm doing good thank you theek hai balvinder can you introduce yourself taki sabko pata chal jaye everything about you uh my full name is balvinder kaur and uh, i am right now studying in uh, lovely professional university and my graduation year is 2023 i am right now in fourth year mm -hmm. and also uh, doing an internship at programming patshala i also had have an offer in hand from polo alto networks mm -hmm. uh, where uh, i am uh, i'll be working as an at an sd role and uh, other than this i have been involved in uh, dsa and a little bit of competitive programming amazing okay so balvinder you are joining polo alto very soon and i am so excited for you but you are also working here at programming parshala you are our family here at programming parshala so basically let me first ask you how's the feeling about polo alto uh i'm feeling great about it and uh, i i remember like whatever my journey was i have given like five to six interviews till now i got selected in two of it that's a separate thing but i gave five of my interviews and how my experience through th those fives actually reflected how i performed in polo alto so this is something very common in the life of uh, uh, the person who is giving the interviews or like that uh, because we generally face rejections yes. through uh, like before getting something good in our hand when i got follow all to i felt like oh is it a reality is it something which i got in real yeah. the result is uh, with me and i'm happy that whatever efforts i have made yeah the results speak for itself and you know one thing that i would like to mention here in uh, the thing that you have told me about is many people take rejections very to their heart very much to their heart and they start to feel demotivated ki yaar i got rejected from amazon i got rejected from this company that company and you know it's i am not worth it let's do something else let's change fields let's change careers but you know these rejections make you into the person that today you are getting rejected and tomorrow you might because of those experiences that you are facing in the rejections because of those shortcomings that are, that you are getting to know ke acha is cheez ki wajah se i got rejected here that is what i should work upon in the next interview that i gave i guess that is what worked for you even you got rejected but you never stopped working hard it's what like okay fine i got rejected but let's work harder for the other company let's face that company's interview and that's what you are today and that's amazing well when that's even the energy that we love of yours here at programming parshala that you are ready to learn you are ready to explore more and coming to the journey of programming parshala how has it been being an intern here at programming parshala since i guess a month now and you have a few many more months to go uh yes ma'am actually uh in programming part chala when i started to work i had that vision in my mind that now i'll be getting uh so many opportunities to learn uh, here and 
I'll be learning a lot and I'll be exploring a lot because I was not able to explore when I was in the, uh, I was not able to explore exactly this much, which I'm able to do it now. Yeah. So I had that vision in my mind and I was very excited about it. I'm like getting full uh, like package of uh, mm -hmm. getting uh, like uh, the teachers or like the mentors who teach me. So uh -huh. this is something really good. I, I really by the time you reach to Palo Alto, you will have so much of experience in your hand already of being, you know, the kind of SDE intern that you are here and then joining Palo Alto as an SDE, you will have a lot of experience, I guess. Then it will look like a simple platter in front of you and you'll be able to just do the work very easily. Because you are, you are, right now, you are in the prime time in your life where you're learning so much so that when you get into your job professionally, you will be able to give in everything that it takes from you. And yes, actually, I'm feeling so much thankful to uh, the entire team because the team, when it works like with me, they are so much like they take care. Okay, she doesn't know this. They are going to teach me. That's great. That's so, really great to hear that. Okay, so Balvinder now coming uh, apart from the professional journey at Programming Parshala, now coming to your student journey at Programming Parshala. So you have been our student of Renaissance since a long time and then you joined us as an intern. How has been your complete journey with Renaissance? Like, was it fruitful to you? How did you like the course? Uh, yes, uh, actually, uh, when I uh, was about to buy this course at that point of time I got a, a free trial I used the free trial of uh, this first few days and uh, I thought that it will be my best choice to invest in uh, like taking this course and uh, when I went through this course I felt like this is something which I actually needed we feel like uh, they get such a close touch and they personally guide us they mentor us and they they teach us like uh, as if our personal mentor does and uh, and in this course I felt like the the steps to learn is so much precise and the flow in which we learn in this course is such a perfect thing to uh, a, a candidate can have I guess it's structured in that manner where we can ask our students to practice more and more questions because you know one thing is that practice makes you perfect you can never get perfect just by you know getting taught by someone and just blackboard and everything you need to practice questions on your own to get best at DSA or problem solving for that matter and that's how that's that's what brings me to your interview experience with Palo Alto. So how has it been from you know getting the very first call for your interview to getting the offer letter? Uh, actually, uh, we had five rounds in this Palo Alto, and in the first two rounds, like first round was uh, MCQ round, and the second round was coding round, in which uh, two questions were asked. The in mm -hmm. MCQ rounds included everything like CS fundamentals, our aptitude, English, and uh, uh, like uh, oops questions and yeah. output related questions so everything was there in that and uh, in the second round we had two coding questions uh, like they were medium level standard questions only and uh, other than that when uh, like there were three rounds of interview and all the three rounds were technical rounds so um, the in the in the very first round it went for one hour and they asked me like almost everything in the very first round. They uh, gave me to solve two coding questions in that. They uh, saw my implementation in that very round. Mm -hmm. They asked me about my project. You knew everything. Uh, I knew everything almost. They, that Those were like basic questions. Yeah, and then, overwhelming first round for you. It's a big then, round. Then in the second round, when I got uh, on the on that very day i had all the three rounds so on in the second round they asked me like uh, there was some senior uh, like uh, senior person okay. so uh, uh, they asked me two coding questions one was related to graph and the other one was a math question that was a very good question and uh, uh, the both the questions were so much twisting and uh, uh, like uh, the one question was from graph and uh, I did it with recursion backtracking. The, like, the interviewer was very impressed by that. Uh, yeah. 
and other than that uh, then in the and also they in the second round they asked me regarding min heap max heap uh, how it works and what are the complexity for shuffling and all mm -hmm. then uh, for the third round uh, it was also a technical round and okay. in that they asked me the concept behind hashing and okay. uh, like about how can we stop the uh, hash collision there okay. were two techniques open addressing and all. so uh, this was the thing the, like this, we had the third round. Then did did you not have your HR round? Like if, even if the third round was technical round? Yeah, uh, no, there was no HR round. Yeah. Oh, but that's weird. That's weird. So you did all your technical stuff and you had the offer letter in your hand. Uh, yeah. Your interview seems exhaustive, but it's nice that you could solve all the questions and also that your interviewer was impressed by you. That's something very rare. So, Balvinder, coming to, again, your motivational part, as you have mentioned in your uh, interview process, everything that you did was on the spot and the interviewer liked it. So, you gave everything to the course. You gave everything to your self-preparations as well. People do tend to have ke motivation kam ho jata hai, kisi ko motivated feel nahi hota hai, give up kar dete hai course pe, rejections aare hai, they don't feel like career change karna. Uh -huh. What keep you motivated? February, we had a, a, a small uh, like winter classes with PPA only. Our college has uh, like uh, provided us with the, those 18 day classes uh, in PPA. At, at that time, I, I saw the course and um, we were giving, given free access to the course uh, at that point of time by our college to study and so I went through the course. I felt, okay, this is something where I can start with. And then uh, uh, after that, I started studying a little bit. Then the time of 18 days was over. And I not, like, I thought, कि ओके मैं खरीदू या नहीं खरीदू कोर्स क्योंकि उस 18 डे के टाइम में भी मेरे पास एक मेरा प्रोजेक्ट चल रहा था उस पे मैं काम कर रही थी और मैंने इतना इस पे डीएसए पे ध्यान नहीं दिया पर देन लाइक देन उसके बाद में एक आफ्टर अ वीक अगेन आई वाज नॉट एबल टू डू द क्वेश्चंस सो आई फेल्ट ओके लेट मी सी माय नोट्स व्हिच आई हैव मेड इन दैट डे जो 18 डेज का टाइम था उसको एक बार देख लेती हूं तो मैंने फिर से वो देखा तो इस बार मुझे वो नोट समझ में आ रहे थे देन आई फेल्ट कि ओके दिस वाज समथिंग जहां पे मैंने कुछ सीखा है एक्चुअली जो कि मेरे दिमाग में रहा है क्योंकि मैंने साथ-साथ में क्वेश्चंस भी लगाए थे तो इस इस टाइम पे मैंने फिर वो कोर्स खरीद लिया एंड मैंने इस चीज को सेकंड थॉट दिया ही नहीं कि मेरे को ये कोर्स लेना चाहिए नहीं बिकॉज़ आई न्यू कि ये कोर्स मेरे को एक्चुअली सिखा रहा है जो चीजें जो चीजें मैंने कवर अप नहीं की हैं इट इज गिविंग मी दैट एक्स्ट्रा पुश एंड वो चीजें मेरे को यहां से मिल रही हैं तो मैंने आई क्विकली बॉट दैट कोर्स इन इन फरवरी आई बॉट दैट कोर्स आई रिमेंबर एंड फरवरी एंड और फिर तब से मैंने पढ़ना इससे स्टार्ट किया मैंने मैंने किस तरीके से इसको लिया इज दैट मैं ना एक एक वीक देती थी मुझे अभी भी याद है कि मैं बहुत ज्यादा एक लो स्टेट में काम करना पसंद करती हूं कि मैंने एक कोई टॉपिक उठाया अब मैं उसको एक दो हफ्ते तक चलाऊंगी मैं उसके सारे क्वेश्चंस लगाऊंगी और मैं बस वही टॉपिक करूंगी दैट्स अ नाइस अप्रोच आई बिलीव दिस इज समथिंग जिसने बहुत ज्यादा इस इस टाइम में मैंने बहुत ज्यादा सीखा कि मेरे को याद है कि एक एक तो इसमें दो चीजें मेरे को जो लगी कि मेरे ऊपर वर्क किया जिन्होंने वाज दैट पहली चीज कि मैं एक ही टॉपिक को बहुत कंसिस्टेंटली करती थी और दूसरी चीज जो इसमें बहुत अच्छी थी वाज कि मेरा पीयर डिस्कशन बहुत अच्छा था जो कि मुझे लगता है कि लोग करते नहीं हैं लोग दे डोंट गेट गुड कंपनी टू लाइक इंटरैक्ट और टू टेल और समथिंग दिस इज समथिंग व्हिच हम हम सबको ये चीज करनी चाहिए कि हमें पीयर डिस्कशन करना चाहिए यू आल्सो नीड सच फ्रेंड्स इन लाइफ इट्स लाइक यू नीड इवन मुझे याद है ये मेरे को आईडिया कैसे आया था इज दैट जब हम जूम uh, मीटिंग करते हैं पीपीए की क्लासेस करते हैं तो सर यूजुअली मेक ब्रेकआउट रूम्स जिसमें हमें कहा जाता है स्पेशली कि आप पीयर डिस्कशन करो या this it is very much appreciated and it is very much promoted here at programming parshala that apart from just a teacher a teacher hai, but you still need your friends to you know build yourself up you 
have to have that group of people, you know, who solve problems together, who motivate each other so that they can do, you know, better. इस इस चीज ने मुझे ना ये एक तो ये चीज सिखा दी कि कैसे आप प्रॉब्लम को अप्रोच आई गेस दैट्स व्हाट हेल्प्स प्रिपेयर यू बेटर एंड आई बिलीव व्हाट केप्ट यू मोटिवेटेड हियर प्रोग्रामिंग पाठशाला इज मेजरली द पीयर डिस्कशंस एंड योर फ्रेंड फ्रॉम दैट पीयर डिस्कशंस व्हिच यू नो डिडंट लेट यू लूज होप एंड यू वर देयर फॉर ईच अदर एंड यू वर सॉल्विंग क्वेश्चंस ईच अदर साथ में बैठ के तो यस एक्चुअली आई इवन लाइक the way the videos are made like how the vivek sir and bharat sir they teach is that they tell you the logic behind each and everything yeah, they yeah. give you pseudo quotes which actually helps generally na maine jo baaki cheezon mein notice kiya ki hum hum agar khud se hum sochte hain ki hum gfg se ja ke ye uh, sare articles pad lenge ye kar lenge but wahan pe itna bada pool hai itna zyada like ओशियन एक नॉलेज है वहां पे हम कितना कर लेंगे एक अगर पैटर्न एक स्ट्रक्चर्ड वे में किसी को पढ़ना है आई यूजुअली रिकमेंड कि पीपीए का कोर्स एक्चुअली टेल्स अस कि इसी स्ट्रक्चर में पढ़ो इतना प्यारा स्ट्रक्चर दिया हुआ है इन्होंने पढ़ने का इवन जो सर ने जिस तरीके से पढ़ाया है वो तरीका हमें जनरली कोई नहीं पढ़ाता है लिटरली एक एक बेसिक को कवर किया उन्होंने ना अगर मुझसे कोई पूछेगा तो मैं कहूंगी प्लीज ब्लाइंडली गो फॉर दिस कोर्स बिकॉज इट हैज रियली हेल्प मी मैंने वो डिफरेंस देखा क्योंकि मैंने और भी चीजें की थी साथ में प्रैक्टिस मेक्स यू परफेक्ट and that actually brings us to the end of this interview balwinder it has been amazing having a word with you the amount of experience and the amount of practice that you have given in this interview and the amount of knowledge that you have given in this interview it has been incredible and i believe jo bhi log are watching this interview will get enormous amount of help through all the advice that you have given but before you leave and before we wind up this interview any piece of advice for our sds what would you like to advise them apart from the peer groups that i believe has been worked for you Uh, apart from uh, that any advice i i think that uh, one should work in consistency jo ki aapko ek flow state mein leke aati hai jahan pe aap cheeze lagatar back to back ek hi cheez pe aap hit karta hai aapka dimag to aap seekhte usse aur dusra cheez hai ki jab aapko lage that your effort is you are actually matlab aap bahut zyada effort dal rahe ho cheezon pe and wo cheez aapke upar ek stress create kar rahi hai ek जब वो आपको लगे ना कि आप थक रहे हो तो तभी 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 आपको तब आप सीख रहे हो तो एक्चुअली तब तब आपको एकदम भी नहीं रुकना चाहिए बिकॉज आप तब रुक गए तो फिर फिर जाओगे आई बिलीव अगर तब रुक गए ना देन यू माइंड जस्ट एंड अप नॉट डूइंग इट एवर अगेन बिकॉज यू फील लाइक दैट यू नो इट्स नॉट माई कप ऑफ टी but it's always एवरीवंस कप ऑफ टी इज जस्ट अ मैटर ऑफ यू नो हाउ मच हार्ड वर्क यू आर विलिंग टू गिव इन एंड हाउ मच यू आर वॉन्टिंग टू बी SD in your life and how much you are wanting to be crack that company and be in that company that's great that brings us to the end of this interview balvinder thank you so much for being here it was lovely having you and even though we both work at programming parshala it was lovely to meet you in person today so i hope you all enjoyed the video in case you did please give it a like and also visit the link in our description section and take a free trial for yourself today and begin this journey of becoming an incredible software development engineer